Okay, so how to differentiate cos inverse x. So the first step whenever we want to differentiate any inverse function like cos inverse, tan inverse uh, or sine inverse is to first write it as y equals cos inverse. And this will allow us to undo the inverse so we can actually cos both sides. So we get cos y equals x and now we no longer have a, a cos inverse and we just have a cos and now we can differentiate both sides implicitly so uh, on the left if we differentiate cos y with respect to x we get negative sine y times dy dx equals and x becomes a 1 and now we can make dy dx a subject so we get dy dx equals minus 1 over sine y. So this is actually the derivative. That's dy dx. It's minus 1 over sine y. The only problem is uh, our answer is in terms of y, but we really want the answer to be in terms of x only. So we need to get rid of this y. And the general method is to use this equation here to somehow eliminate this sine y. And we're going to use uh, the triangle method. There'll be two methods. You can either use identities or a triangle. I'll use the triangle method here. So the first thing to do is draw a triangle. And this triangle, we want to f uh, fill in this information. So x is the same as x over 1. And we can do Sokotoa. If y is the angle, and we know that cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. We can now fill in this triangle. The adjacent is x, the hypotenuse is 1. And we can now use Pythagoras to get the opposite side. So it should be 1 minus x squared all rooted. And now from this we can now get sine y. So we know that sine y is opposite over hypotenuse. So that will be that over there. So 1, that will equal 1 minus x squared all rooted over the hypotenuse, which is a 1. So it's just 1 minus x squared all rooted. And we can now plug this in over here to give us negative 1 over 1 minus x squared all rooted. So that's the derivative of cos inverse is negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared.